The following contest is a singles match set for one fall, with the winner entering the International Battle Royale, making his way to the ring from Norwich, Ricky Knight Jr. Well, we'll talk about the pedigree of Ricky Knight Jr. in just a few moments. But this is a serious challenge for both Sabian and Ricky Knight Jr. Make no mistake about that at all. Now we're talking about International Battle Royale and there's a very good reason we're doing that right here, right now, because here is the last winner of the International Battle Royale, Kip Sabian. thing to say is that Kip Sabian and Ricky Knight Jr. are absolutely categorically not strangers to one another from the same part of the world. They have both been around the business for about the same amount of time. They have both been trained by the same people. I'm not going to say they're mirror images because that's not necessarily true. However, there are similarities between both of them. You'd expect that. They were trained by the same family. this match of course then to see which of these two pro athletes gets a place in the international battle royale remember tickets are still available if you want to be there live and in person literally two days time so you've got nothing to do on Sunday we want something really really good to do Sunday make sure you get your tickets now 24th Maystone International Battle Royale 30 man over the top ringsideworld.co.uk keep saving there <laughs> cheering the love as it were now we get down to business there's that collar and elbow tie up and as I said both men trained by the same family of course I'm talking about the Knight family Ricky in particular trained by Roy and Zach, unsurprisingly. And also Sweet Soraya and Rowdy Ricky Knight. Of course the film about the Knight family. Fighting with my family, number one box of it smashed. Do go see it if you haven't. It is actually quite a good watch. But right now you're being treated to exactly what they created. This is part of the dynasty of that family in the form of the former IPW world champion Kip Sabian and a man who could truly be a future world champion himself in Ricky Knight Jr. Both men been around the business about a decade they have the experience they're both relatively young especially Ricky ah and there you go as I said both men have experience not often you see Kip Sabian wrong-footed like that. Last year, of course, Kip Sabian went in at number one. Number one in the International Battle Royale, and he outlasted everybody. I'm talking 29 other people. People were in that like Jeff Dobb, Bad Bones, Jimmy Havoc. You know, the list is endless. The amount of talent that was in that match, and Kip Saban went through every single one of them. And not only that, he defended his championship, the Z Force Championship, earlier in the same night. Kip Saban knows what it is to win the Battle Royale. He knows that it could make him world champion once again. And how about that? Turn around, it's fair play, ladies and gentlemen. Kip Saban saying, he also has that level of experience, that level of awareness in the ring.
Hashtag IPW if you want to get involved in this contest or any other contest here on International Pro Wrestling. Let us know your thoughts. Who do you think is going to International Battle Royale? Who's going to get the big win here? Well, I tell you, he's getting the big insecurity right now. It's super bad. Volts off the second rope. Oh, really, really grinded to that leg to try and make the cover stick. Jumps them, hits him. Sweeping calf kick and Saman's in trouble. Now, if you've been with us since the beginning, you might be quite surprised, but don't be. Oh, spoke too soon, Kip Sabian. On the ascendancy here in Milton Keynes. This is, of course, international pro wrestling on a fine network. And Ricky Knight Jr. eats a kick pretty much to his face. Remember, still to come. Number one contenders match for the IPW Women's Championship between Zoe Lucas and Jade. And we say farewell to the purveyor of pain. Paper cuts and pokes to the eye. The simply iconic Jimmy Havoc. Saving there with a punch that well, it could take minutes, minutes for Ricky Knight Jr. to recover from. But instead he's finding back with those elbows. It's caught. Oh, beautiful execution to a Northern Lights. Two, only two, says referee Tom Scarborough. Let's nice. remember that Kip Sabin knows what's on the line here. Oh, they both know what's on the line. Kip Sabin knows the value of what's on the line here. He successfully cashed in that contract, right? So we know that Kip Sabian knows, but Ricky Knight Jr. will have seen that. He will have seen the footage. He will know the value himself. He's never been a world champion. He knows how that could elevate his career, just like Kip Sabian is trying to elevate himself, literally in this contest. John Wood drop kick. And another drop kick to follow Ricky Knight Jr. Could be zeroing in here on a place in the International Battle Royale. Remember, if you want to see the International Battle Royale, wait a second here, over the cover. It's earlier two. If you want to watch the International Battle Royale, you're going to have to go to our on-demand service, iwnlive.net. It's the only place you can be able to see the International Battle Royale because we are going for a season break at the end of next week's broadcast. Dragon Screw by Sabian. Wrapping the legs of Ricky Knight around, twist him. That's absolutely incredible by Kip Sabian. He has both legs right where he wants them. Middle of the ring, but Ricky Knight Jr. is close to the ropes. If he can just stretch out a little further, we'll get there. And Kip Sabian knows that. He's trying to trap. He's trying to trap both the legs. But Ricky Knight Jr. was indeed too close to the ropes. Fourth exchange by Sam Ricky Knight Jr. firing each other up. They know what's at stake. They have walked the same paths and they want to get the keys to the same palaces here in wrestling. Sometimes you have to go through people who are exactly like you to get to where you want to be. And this is one such occurrence that we are experiencing right here, right now. Knee to the face. It's a super kick. What a cannon that was by Ricky Knight Jr. Wiping super bad clean off his feet. If Ricky Knight Jr. could just get the cover, but Sabian, Sabian wisely pulls himself to the apron. He could sense that he was in danger. And if you're that side of the ropes, you cannot be pinned. It's 
my understanding that count out and disqualifications are most certainly in effect in this contest they have to be careful you fall from there you land hard on the apron you could get counted out Kip Sabian's you think a Death Valley driver maybe he's picked a few things up from Mark Haskins he's been hit by it enough times oh no oh lightning strike off again for Kip Sabian not for the first time in his IBW career does he get a Death Valley driver on the apron and Ricky Knight Jr. has a real chance here. Kip Saban's in real trouble. Got to go to Swan Johnny gets it. He got all of it. Saban's in trouble too. Oh, somehow Kip Saban gets up, but he barely got up. The eyes are like they were rolling in the back of his head, and Ricky Knight Jr. straight in Tom Scarborough's face. Ricky Knight Jr. spent a bit too long talking to referee Tom Scarborough and keeps open just a moment to recuperate. Swings him over with a DDT. Cut up here. Two. No. Maybe not enough weight on the shoulders in that exchange. Goes for a Ridgeway like penalty kick. Two. Oh, Kip Sabian is going deep into the playbook of the other people at the moment. Trying to get the free count. Went for the Death Valley driver. Do we know Mark Haskins favours? Went for that penalty kick that we know Ridgeway favours. But now he's going to Old Faithful itself. He's going for Deathly Hallows part one. He has him up. Gonna try and drop him there. Ricky Knight finds his feet. Rolls him up into a small package. Small package. Small package. Save his feet defeated by Ricky Knight Jr. Here is your winner advancing to the International Battle Royal, Ricky Knight Jr. Wow. Well, no, on some level, we could say we're surprised but as I've said Ricky Knight Jr a hell of a background himself already but former IPW world champion Kip Saban will not be in the international battle royale and Ricky Knight Jr will